Nick Atkins joins me now. He's the managing director of Rubber Atkins. Nick, thank you so much for joining me. I'm just looking at your stand here. And again, we look around this exhibition, a lot of steel and iron and that, but one vital component. Tell me a little bit about it. Rubber, how important is it? Well, with rubber, you won't get a seal. Rubber is used uh, all over the oil industry and uh, it is uh, underestimated in its importance. It is resilient, forms a seal, long, gives longevity, it can be attacked by chemicals, can hold high pressure, can, needs to hold high temperature, but is generally overlooked. And formulating the materials for each application is incredibly important, and that's what we do. Now tell me a little bit about particularly when we look at enhanced oil recovery and I'm just looking behind us here at this particular model. Tell me the structure and the purpose of the seals on this. Well this is a simulation of our steam injection. Uh, we designed specialist cups with a super hot material for 643 uh, 34F which will uh, withstand uh, steam injection for many months. It looks very impressive here to actually see it in action. And also you have a simulation of a fracking, a frack cups as well. And again, under such high pressure, but again, that rubber will hold well, will it? Yes, we formulated the materials and designed the components so we can frack um, multiple times at 10,000 PSI, at 150 C, and we've had with multiple sets. In some cases, we've had uh, over 100 sets so we can frack uh, different zones. So this is quite incredible and uh, it's a pretty new innovation. Yeah. And indeed, of course, now you've been in the oil and gas sector, serving the oil and gas sector for quite a while too. Um, you know, obviously pe people know about this and people trust this, but again, it has to really come with its, the seal of approval, so to say, hasn't it? And I just saw the, uh, the minister, you had Baroness Fairhead here, the Minister of Trade from the UK, visit your stand. How cool was that? Yeah, that was, uh, that was a privilege to be uh, sought out there and uh, it was good to be able to discuss and tell her that we've been on the, uh, in the industry now for 30 years and uh, we're exporting 85% of uh, everything we produce in Aberdeen. Um, so she was interested in that and uh, that we're helping the export uh, business. Uh, so it's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. And again, talk to me about the export business. How important is the, uh, the Middle East region for you? Yes. Well, we've been, this is our eighth time we've come to uh, the Adipex show. Um, it's a very important area to us and we're developing business here, down here, and we hope to uh, get more business uh, over the uh, four days of uh, this Adipex. So far, it's been very stimulating. We've had a lot of interest from uh, existing customers who have problems uh, which they'd like us to solve with chemical resistance, temperature, steam. People have come to us with steam, which is quite good. And uh, customers, we potentially new customers we've never met before from not only uh, in the Gulf region, but from farther afield, which uh, is uh, what we're looking for. And, uh, but now it's up to us to follow up and uh, you need a black belt in follow up to uh, bring the orders home. <laughs>